No, not mean. One hour fifty-four. It's our bedroom, that's our bathroom through there. I can't take you in there at the minute because Christine's in, but we're going to make draw it onto the decking. Hmm, I was going to go for a walk, but I've just checked me up and it's forecast this all day. Jeff was going to do some fishing at 7 o'clock this morning, but that hasn't happened. It's now 10 past 2 at 8. So I think it'll be a quick brew and then off we go for a cruise. Eagle Bridge, I think that's the plan, but the plan was we would get there early and go for a walk. Yeah, so you've got 30 foot of deck in here. And a key head in. But as you saw, when we first moved up, we need 35 foot and it wouldn't be, even though there's nobody in next door, I wouldn't want to be hanging over somebody's, over somebody's garden really. Plus, we wouldn't be able to fish at all, but I thought that it must be fished off the boat. Anyway. Thankfully the wind's dropped. Somebody has said, I don't think it might have been Christine. It's supposed to be another storm heading for the country next week, earlier next week, I think. that type of rain that wets you through as well. You know the wet stuff. <laughs> Sauna. Well it seems to have eased off a little bit. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk. Not too far because it's got some nasty showers forecast today. Uh, and we'll be having breakfast in about 45 minutes so I'll try and get back for then so after about 10 we'll be at Echo for 12ish and then um, yeah so I don't think we'll be doing a walk Unless it has stopped when we get there. There is a short walk that me and Christine did from Acle Bridge here down as we going down to the village, down the path at the side of the road. Then you do a left at the Hermitage, which, if it's open, might not be a, a bad shout for nipping in there. Um, and then round by Acle Dyke and up. I can't remember exactly, I think it's probably about half an hour. 45 minutes, which if it's peeing down that'll be enough. Oh the pump's working anyway. This flooding's not too bad around here. been up here before. Well, apparently when Karen was going meeting her online dating fellow, she turned right here. For some strange reason. And soon realised that you can't go any farther when you get to the water's edge. So Teal Lodge, I think we've looked at I think Teal Read Me and we'll read me a Got soul, what's that one? Uh, Willow Mere. So some of these are, are private, I think there's only two. Rent out and now the rain's coming down a bit more now. 
Swallow tail, we actually looked at that one as well. Yeah, we could get some of the cloud out here, we were staying here. Swift cottage. Yeah, it's a bit fresh again today. I think it's forecast zero degrees for a while down here. Not too sure what it actually is at the minute. That was on the Anglian news where the forecast shit a bit ago. It's that breeze. Well it's saying five degrees at the moment. Mm. Got rain all the way through till five o'clock. Right, anyway, as you know by now, we're staying in Wirrimere at Ferry Marina. It's not run by Ferry Marina. If there's any problems, there's a number for a guy. Now, uh, when we got up yesterday morning, The pressure on the boiler had dropped. I don't know if I've told you this or not. So I look, there's a number to phone. And there's a guy who looks after the management. He was on his way to the doctors. So I said, well, there's no rush, because we went out for the day. So we'll just leave you with it. And anyway, when we got back, <laughs> and he put the thermos out up to 25. Oh, it was roasting. People were fainting almost. Well, you know the ones that are a little bit overweight. Not me, obviously. So, um, so we had to turn that down. So, I mean, it is really well insulated and warm inside there, and soundproof as well because you can hardly hear a thing. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It sleeps out. There's a double ensuite. There's a double. Uh, a twin and one with bunk beds so I think it cost us £825 well it's between seven of us that's not too bad at all really for a week is it now, this might not be a good idea this in this weather Ooh, I'm not going on that path looks a bit minging Well, anyway, my coat's waterproof-ish, my trousers, maybe not so. Oh yeah, I might be seeking shelter and then go back. It's getting a bit grim at the moment. Oh. There's a five bedroom house at the other end of this lower street just before when we went for that walk yesterday. I, I didn't film it but Karen took a picture of it. Uh, that's just been sold for 500 and some thousand. I thought it'd be more expensive than that. I mean, all right, 500 and thousand is pretty expensive, but for the houses down here, but I think it's because basically it's not on the river, is it? If you get them on the river, they've got another couple of hundred grand on them. Right, I'm going back. I will be drenched if I carry on going that way. Yeah, so anyway, we'll go on the boat. It doesn't matter if it's raining when you're cruising on the boat. I mean, even that though, I prefer it when it's not raining, obviously. Because I like having my head stuck out that roof, as you well know by now. Taking in the views. Um, Yeah, so breakfast here, lunch Echo Bridge. By the time a couple of, well, I don't know how long we'll be there. So if we get there at 12, a couple of hours. Um, 
if we go for a walk it'll be a couple of hours so I'll back off at two o'clock-ish so that'll be four o'clock by the time we're back here um, and I think the girls have got planned we have like a I think they've got pork pies and cheese and so it'd be like a ploughman's lunch for an evening meal but I don't eat three meals a day well, not big ones anyway We're on the top of the building there. Oh, we're on the boat up there. Oh, we see loads of them in winter. Well, when we was coming back from Wrexham No it wasn't actually, it was uh, when we was coming back from Neatstead on the Ant We saw... Well I saw, and I just think Carl just saw it, and Christine and Otter Swimming across Are we going to get there this way? Hmm. No, it better not really No, I don't think we can. Not back to our lodge. Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn you off because it's wet through and it's not waterproof when I've got this cover on. Pretending to move Yeah. You just walked past your breakfast. Oh. Is that one mine? I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Not the best beaver I've ever used in my domestic career. Five to ten. I'll just wait until this goes through here. <laughs> it's not really too badly at the moment, it's spitting a little bit. But um, I didn't fans get any legs wet through there. So yeah, I'm just set off from the lodge, I'm having to walk around to the boat. I'll get the heater on so the ladies are not freezing when they get on. Take the chill off a little bit. And um, well, the wind's completely dropped now, which is good. But as I said before, I prefer it if I can stand up and have a look through the roof and see what's going on around us. Now, I wonder if we can see that house from here. I'll have a quick look. Yeah, it's that one there where it said water side. Not exactly by the water side though, so it's the tall grey one over there. I think she said it was 550,000, five bedrooms. Well, this week, as per usual, 
Well, actually, I don't know. It seems to have gone quicker this week. But I think when you're on the boat, we do a lot more cruising. Um, yeah. Thursday. Tomorrow's the dreaded full last day. Um, which will, I think the plan for tomorrow, as long as the weather's not bad, we'll just have a short cruise up to Sal House. If they've sorted all the damage that the trees and the wind caused the other day, and have a walk up to the Fair and Feather for lunch. Um, and then to Bolters, three o'clock, booked in. Fuel in, pump out, get everything ready for the morning, for Saturday morning, packed away. Because the Clay and Carl want to go early because they want to watch one of the lads play football. And that was the plan in October as well. But it took six hours to get home, which wasn't very good. Um, yeah. Now the next time we're down is the second week of Easter and that time we'll have Kim and Sam with us and then end of July my eldest daughter Sarah and the boyfriend Ash and the little, and little Archie we've got to keep our eye on him he won't be going anywhere without a life jacket on well, not unless I throw him in. Right, so we're here again. Well, Nick, you know ya. Thunder stars that moved and it's Thursday. So you could have had her from last Saturday. Yeah, then there's the old pipe for the water. There's a the thing. Oh, I think we've got to get it off the... I think so. I hope we've got our own still. Right, I'm going to put the heater on. I'm just going to give the deck a little bit of a, a mop down. Being very domestic today, and they are not smart, are they? Right, quarter past ten, and we're off. Let's go to work now. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? I ain't got my glasses on. I can't. I won't be upstairs with my glasses on, mate. Seriously. Oh. Oh, see, I can't see it. Yeah, go on. We, uh, Let's uh, just, just, come, just come out of there. We're going to go left here, and then we're going all the way down there to where we were yesterday. I'll just shout Christy. And then we're going to turn. <laughs> I keep on the beer with I can't see with glasses on, I can read, but these are things, but I can't do that as well, so... So what, are you going to ask Christina for what she did to you yesterday? What's that, sorry? <laughs> She's going to ask you what yeah, I did to him yesterday, oh, and then you go down... Oh, you're kipping me south, yesterday. ...South Walsham. <laughs> well, I'll have to go in because it's getting wet again. Are we mooring up here? Where's that can? Back. Yeah. What can? Perry had done, there's only seven in the fridge. Oh, here you uh, go. Ellie's had it. Yeah. 
So she's telling him that A quarter past what I've won, it's not quarter past yet. We've only got eight. Well, oh, Carl carried him, he said there were eight. Yeah, so. going in the right direction but I'm guessing that's because Christine told him to. Yeah. With it, the signposts are a bit small aren't they right? Yeah. You've got to be right on top of it to see. The rock killers. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's where that pub is with a wet light isn't it? Yeah. What were we drinking in there though? That's that stone as well. I would drink in the state, yeah. I'd stay. Oh, oh. I'd stay. 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 I'd all right. 25 to 12. And it's not raining. Not boring up, are we? Not boring up. Not boring up. Not boring up. So Pedro's has closed down forever, apparently. Um, there's plenty of free moorings at the free mooring spot. If we can't get in at the pub. So, do we want to do the little walk or not? Is it not really? These two That's good. That's quite zip back. Do you want to do that little walk? First. Oh. And the amount of times I've looked at the, what the tide's supposed to be doing when we come here, and it's doing something completely different. Thankfully there's no wind so I'll, we should be okay. <coughs> I wonder what that will become. Outside pub? Yeah, we can, yeah. So could have just gone there, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, we can go there if, if there's no room, but it's easier if you're outside the pub, isn't it? For the older ones to get off and walk to the pub. There's petals in it, Chris. Yeah. Is that closed? No, it's closed. Yes, it's not caved. It's not caved.
be putting it back to slow down. Yeah. So you've only got forward and reverse. So it's that way for forward and that way for reverse. So Richardson's, I've seen three or four. So they must obviously have a few boats out. So Richard, you, right, Richardson's, Herbert Woods. There it is. Is it? Richardson's, Herbert Woods. And um, what else have we seen? Philly Marina. Closer to it, to the right. Not good. Oh, that way. This way. That way. That way. Oh, the other way, mate. Just a touch more to the left. Yeah? Yeah. Flex, really slippy on that board. Tired? <coughs> yeah. Can I turn the engine off or not yet? Yeah. Uh, back slightly. I don't know. Uh, I'm going up a bit ropes. Yeah, you can take the engine off. It's that duck rope standing there behind you. <laughs> right. It would just be in car. He'd have been thrown in the river. <laughs> like, because he'd have been snapping. <laughs> and, I was and I'd have been saying, just get off and let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's hope it's open. Can I get Yeah. I don't think it's open that. The doors were shut over there. What, do you think it's be open, Phil. Otherwise, we'll have to walk to the Hermitage and have one in there. What did you just say? What did you That's what Dave uses when you see it. Yes. Who is that? Oh, it's lovely warm in here. Hello, Desmond. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't go wrong, can you? There's nothing else you see. I don't mind the worry, but I've been drinking that all week, so John Smith. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Oh, yeah, don't get that side of me. It's a stupid game, Piers. Yeah, yeah, don't get that side of me. Tight twist, isn't it? It's just took my glass. <laughs> so, what time are you meeting for the game, Karen? I've got to do this on camera. Karen, yeah. Karen? I'm not doing this on camera. We don't want you to do it on camera. Hold on a minute! Steady on, man. Steady. Well, Colette and Karen started on the wine. I think they had two bottles or one and three quarters while they were in there. Took the rest with them. And here we are now at the Swan, which is coming up in part two. Our trip up from Akel up back up to Arning. Well, because we didn't go for a walk, we thought we'd have a cruise up into the village. And, yeah, so Colette carried on with the wine, as you can see here. And, well, goodness, goodness, goodness knows what she was doing later on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribed for the next exciting instalment.